there everybody, uh, Peter of England here bringing you uh, an update on the status of the class action lawsuit that we initiated against Seven Sisters Oil Cartel. Um, for those of you who will have seen the previous video uh, entitled Refund or Refuel, you'll see that we put a cutoff date for joining the class action uh, as of 21st of June 2013, which was the summer solstice, uh, which also coincided with the phenomenon known as supermoon. Um, now, up to date, the numbers of people that have joined in the class action lawsuit aren't as high as, that I'd, as, I, as I'd expected. However, they are sufficient for the process to be taken forward. So, for all those people who want to join from here on in, um, the class action lawsuit, unfortunately for you, is now closed. The further reason for this update is to remind the people who did join the class action lawsuit and for people who may wish to join ReMovement now as a separate entity, a separate or a political organisation, that in order to continue with this next part, which I'm going to show you now, uh, you really do need to become a member now of ReMovement. To become a member of ReMovement, it's similar to the, uh, the conditions required to join the class action lawsuit. You need to send £10 and the word JOIN to info at allisone.co.uk. Uh, that email address will be um, subtitled here on the video. Um, so, if you wish to take advantage of now the offer that is going to be made to you uh, through Weir Bank and Freeman Legal Services, you first need to be a member of Re Movement. Okay, so the purpose of today's um, update or video is to put a novel, though not unprecedented, form of wealth generation into your possession so that we can begin to pay for our fuel and goods and services as well as to help you write off your debt with your so-called creditors uh, in a most uh, legal and novel way. And we're going to do that through a bank. So um, in the United Kingdom, for example, there are five major high street clearing banks which run, in fact, a monopoly or a cartel, which controls and manipulates the entire market. These five are, in turn, um, controlled by the Bank for International Settlements via the Bank of England, and the Exchange Stabilization Fund within the Federal Reserve is a counterparty within uh, the New York Federal Reserve. So, um, what we are doing is we are acting as the, the toxic sponge which is soaking up the Illuminati bankster debt and what we're going to do is we're not going to fight them, we're going to use their own tools to provide a facility for you um, as a member of Re Movement uh, to open a bank account with Weir Bank. Okay? Now how we are going to engineer this for you, for those people who wish to, to participate, is to offer you the facility to write a promissory note, your own promissory note. Um, if you pick up a Bank of England note, uh, if you pick up a Commonwealth um, bank note, uh, I'm not sure whether it's the state, same in the United States, I haven't read the, uh, the jargon on the US dollar, the worthless paper that the Federal Reserve issues. But what it will state is, on the £5, £10 or £50 note is, that I, the Bank of England Governor, states, I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of whatever the note is. So, it's a promissory note, and the promise always infers the fact that the actual item itself is not available. What is the actual item that's not available? Well, it was the gold and silver coinage that used to be allowed to be used to uh, extinguish or write off debt in what's called a finality of settlement exchange prior to 1931 in the UK when the UK was taken off the gold standard, 1933 with the Gold Confiscation Act of Roosevelt in the United States. So what we're going to do now is to show you the way of your being able to create 
100,000 pounds or 200,000 re units of credit in your own account in WEA Bank, the communal bank uh, facility. And what we're going to do is use something called a promissory note. Promissory notes are just that, a promise to pay. A check is an order to pay, which is slightly different, but nevertheless, they're both what's called negotiable instruments under the Bills of Exchange Act 1882 and Uniform Commercial Code uh, Article 3. So, what we would like you to consider doing is the following. For the promissory note, for you to create a negotiable instrument and deposit it in your account, but in our bank, we require, first of all, what's called the dating of the instrument. These are the requirements. So let's say today is the 24th of June 2013. That's similar to how you would write it on a cheque. Then, what you would need to do, and I hope you can see this, if not, we'll just have to adjust the, the video lens. Uh, we need to state some facts. And these would be, I, then whatever your name is, let's say, John Smith, okay, um, then promise to pay, and then who are you going to promise to pay? Well, for now, because we need the credit to be credited to someone else, I, you can't make a promissory note out to yourself, you need to pay we're bank a now sum determinant in money. Or what is money? Well, money is a various range of items, but for one thing, money can be a check, one can be a bank order, it can be a bank draft, it can be a certificate of deposit, it can be gold, silver, and legal tender. It can be a range of things. So, what we're going to ask you to do is to pledge the following. We're going to ask you to pledge an amount of time, but we're going to express it for now as promise to pay we a bank one hundred thousand sterling, or let's say ninety-eight. Thousand minutes of time, we are bank will round that up to 100,000. So what we're doing here is we're equating a minute of time with a one pound unit of currency. So if you're working uh, for one hour, you're earning 60 pounds an hour. And so this is what we are looking to adjust to say that you're worth a lot more than you think you're worth. But, for now, this is the general equation. So, I, whatever your name is, promise to pay we a bank £100,000, 98,000 minutes, okay? And what we need to do then is express the fact that you've received something. So, for value received, and the value that you've received from us is the facility and the ability to do this and other services, for value received, we need to put a date on it because it can't be indeterminate, so let's, for example, put on a, a 10 year uh, time frame. By uh, June 24, 2023, okay, or on demand, and that's it. Then you need to sign it with your normal signature. So in this case, if I put mine 
uh, let's say, if I signed it as uh, Walt Disney, that would be a legally binding instrument. Okay, so we've offered you the credit facility there. It's signed, it's dated. So we have the date, we have the person who is drawing the note, we've got the promise to pay, we have the person or the institute to who it's been paid to, we have a sum determinant arranged in two quantities because we a bank is a time bank and it's based on the old equation E equals MC squared. Apologies if you can't actually see this, but uh, I don't quite know until the video is finished how clear it is. So energy is, is your work effort, your mass equals U, and C squared is time squared. That's time and U equals energy, and that's a fundamental equation of universal law. So we're incorporating that into the promissory note. What, in addition, we're going to do is to make a statement here which says the following. That this promissory note conforms with the general terms and conditions of the Bills of Exchange Act 1882, just checking here so I don't leave anything out, uh, as well as Uniform Commercial Code, that's UCC Article 3. And what that makes it then is what's called a negotiable instrument, which is then tradable and treatable as money, as currency, and as, as good as per Lord Denning's words, who was the master of the rolls in the Queen's Bench Division of the High Court or Royal Court of Justice, that a cheque for accountancy purposes is as good as money. This is one better. This is a promise from you to deliver something which we will then hold for you and trade and offset for you. So this is up to date. This is the latest installation here. I would encourage everybody who wishes to take advantage of changing the inequity and the, the criminality of the global financial system and banking system to now think this through and just realize that all you're doing here is using your signature as the only value on the planet. Because without a signature, there is no value. Without your desire and your express intent to do something, to create a contract with a loan company, a bank, financial institution, there is nothing. Um, so. Think this one through carefully. For those who wish to join, um, you must become a member of Removement. Send the £10 to join the club, which has got an ulterior reason for having you join before you embark on this, because there's an additional level of protection. So, thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. Peter of England signing off for now. Thank you.